Elizabeth? Wait, what? What's with the face? Do you have a problem with me? Not at all. Just surprised. I didn't expect to see you out here. Uh-huh. What are you doing here? What do you mean? Why would you ask me that? It's none of your business. Calm down. I was just making small talk. It doesn't take much to set you off, does it? Damn! I didn't mean it like that. Oh. I was just taking a walk. Am I not allowed to go for a walk? I mean, a little sus, but Is at least so? you've cooled down a little bit. Let's go, Ashley. Wait. You're that what? missing kid. Ugh, I knew it. <laughs> You're that Crusoe Resort kid. Nah. Do you take solo walks often? Sometimes, I guess. Sounds relaxing. Any good trails around here? Trails? Ha. <laughs> no such thing. Really? You're local, I thought you'd know. Oh, by the way, I saw Tommy and Janet earlier. They said they were headed to band practice. Are you going? What? Uh, right. I've got to skip this one, errands to run. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I mean, I guess you could work on your own parts, like, in band practice, if you don't have everyone, but... I don't know, I think the whole point of band practice is so that you can all practice together. I mean, then again, you know, I realized that in band class, you know, frequently you'd end up, like, practicing in your given section, um, and that sometimes, yeah, you wouldn't be practicing with the whole band, sometimes you'd be practicing by yourself, sometimes you'd be practicing with, uh, others of your specific instrument, sometimes you'd be practicing with woodwinds, um, and then, you know, of course, the whole ensemble, but... You know Matthew? Of course. Everyone around here does. He's the son of the president of Crusoe Resort. What's with the attitude? So what if he's the president's son? You clearly have no idea, so I'll enlighten you. You should know about Crusoe Resort. Oh, there's another crack. After all, they almost ruined the lake. Ruined the lake? Yeah, and it was his dad's fault. First, the jerk finds this beautiful lake. Then he buys up all the land he can to make this big resort. So? It's how he went about it. The construction ruined the environment here. They totally polluted the lake. Mm. Some people would do anything for money. Destroying nature to build a tourist trap? Unbelievable. Selfish people like that are the reason the Earth is hurting. Huh. Oh, poor Mother Nature. Ugh. Get it? That's the kind of person his dad is. That's enough, Elizabeth. I'm just telling the truth. Even if that's true, it has nothing to do with Matthew. Seriously? How can you walk around like nothing's wrong? You don't... I don't what? You don't have any proof. Stop lying! Matthew? <laughs> Whatever. I wasn't expecting her to be an environmentalist. Oh yeah, so the, the point I was kind of getting at with the long-winded band rant is that, like, the whole point to practicing together is that, you know, you figure out timings, you figure out sound balance, um, and, you know, potentially because you're writing your own song, oh, he's over there, 
Potentially because you're writing your own song, you can... Ooh, another can! Wow, I really do have the brain cell today. Hell yeah. Uh. Uh, right. So the point is, when you're creating your own song, you know, you can figure out how you want to tweak stuff in the moment, and if you kind of just have two out of three parts, at least I'm assuming, I don't know if they actually have a fourth. But the, the point is, if you're down a member, you know, that's going to impact you significantly more than if you're missing someone in, like, band class. Unless, you know, you happen to be missing, like, the soloist or something like that, then I suppose that's bad, but, like... In the size band we had, I'm pretty sure we had at least two of each seat. So, you know, you had, like, the first clarinets, the second clarinets, yada yada. And if, you know, a single person was missing, there was other stuff that you could work on. Whereas in a smaller band, like, sure, you can practice your own part, but... If you only have two out of the three members, you're not, uh, you're not really jiving. Hey. <sighs> Are you okay? What do you think about what Elizabeth said? I think she didn't have to be so rude. She kind of made me mad. So you were shocked? Well, yeah, a little. Do you know if, if that's true? Everyone says it is. But you don't believe it. No. But I get confused sometimes. I can't help but wonder if... Hmm. I've been here before. With my family. Oh yeah? It's huge. Yeah. And this is a special tree. Hmm. I remember Dad used to stand here and look out at the lake. He always seemed so calm. You remember. I just thought Dad liked the view. And then everything happened and now I'm not so sure. What was he thinking about when he stared out at the lake? His impending demise. And that's something I wonder about now. It sounds like this tree is important to you. Yeah. I have so many memories of all of us together here. What was your family like? Dad was always busy working. When I'd ask him to play, He'd yell about being interrupted. Oh. Mom was always sick, so I used to take care of Kelly. And we played together all the time. And Kelly was cute, but she was a lot younger. She cried a lot. Being a big brother must be tough sometimes. Yeah. Hey, Matthew? Does Kelly live with your uncle too? She's dead! No. My uncle said she went to stay someplace a long way from here. She's dead. I don't get to see her. Cause she's a ghost. That sounds really lonely. <sighs> yeah. Honestly, I just don't remember. I can't even remember the day my dad left. When I try, everything gets fuzzy. We've got a machine for that. It's all a blank. Not the last thing he said before he left. Or the look on his face. Seeing Matthew like this reminds me so much of Dee. Something terrible must have happened to Matthew. Something that left a scar inside. Just like with Dee. Trauma. Listen. When I learned about my mom, a friend told me something. He said, even though facing the truth can be hard, in the end it's always for the best. What do you think? You're right. I need to know what Dad was thinking. That's why I have to find out what happened to him. 
The clock tower. You want to check it out next? Let's take a look. Might find something. So let's go. What are you waiting for? Nothing, I guess. The ghost that you don't know is there, but we do because we're a third party observer and, you know, so something about, uh, uh, not Ludo narrative, but, but this is like something that's, uh, it's definitely closer to dramatic irony, although I wouldn't call it irony, but oh, it's the fact wow. that we as the audience know what it's they so don't. It's so much taller up close. Uh, uh, promise me, Matthew. Don't go near the clock tower. Uh. Ashley? Yeah? I... changed my mind. I don't want to go. I just... have a really bad feeling. It's okay. If you don't want to go, that's fine. I'm really sorry. Why don't you wait here while I take a look? Just don't let Dan find you. Okay. You know, it, it's crazy wearing these Sennheisers. Because, like, I'm hearing all of the random, uh, you know, like, mouth clicks mm. and stuff that... Like, even in this game... There is a certain level of, you know, wet mouth noise that happens, you know, sometimes around dehydration, but otherwise just in general, because talking, like, does that. Human mouths are not perfect. You will sometimes get, like, oh no, my tongue stuck to one of my cheeks, and it clicked a little bit when I separated, um, or when I opened my mouth, mm -hmm. yada yada. And so it's like, if I'm catching these things, and professional voice actors are doing it, maybe I can cut myself a little bit more slack on YouTube. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still going to probably edit out, like, the more egregious things. Like, I noticed that I, and not just me, but, like, YouTubers, too, have a tendency to go, like, when they, uh, when they open their mouths, and that's, I have to remember in editing, don't edit that one out, that one's an example. But the point is, if I can hear that on professional recordings, like, Maybe I don't uh, need to put quite so much uh, neuroticism into editing the audio for YouTube. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm still going to do sound balance and, like, processing and all that jazz, but maybe I can really uh, speed oh. up my workflow. Ashley, see that clock tower? Your dad and I once went all the way to the top. I remember. It used to be open to everyone. I wonder if I can get in. Secret RAS synchronization point? Nope. Not opening. That would be the funniest shit. Like, if look, I can't get in, I can't investigate. We have an NFC uh, communication point in this door. Um, no, but I'm guessing there's like secretly a key hidden around here somewhere. Nope, can't go that way. Maybe this way? No, can't go that way either. No good. I was fully expecting something along the lines of, you know, that clock tower can be the last thing we do this session. Hey, you. Oh no. It's Sunglasses Guy. Yep. That was Matthew just now, wasn't it? Oh no. Who's asking? Is he after Matthew? No, no, who's asking? Do you have a moment? Um... Sure. But can I ask you a question first? Go ahead. Why are you looking for him? How do you know about Matthew? Close enough. Not just Matthew. I know about you too. Okay, a little freakier. Ashley Mizuki Robbins. The only child of Dr. Richard Robbins. What? How'd you know that? He's incredibly well informed. A good question. Who are you? Lad's like Secret Service or John something. John Smith. That's the most generic name ever. I'm guessing that's not his real name. Seriously? John Smith? Thank you. 
There is no way that's your real name. Thank you! Is that what you think? Ashley has the brain cell! What's this guy hiding? He's seriously suspicious. Ah, uh, the look of total mistrust of adults on the face of youth. And seriously weird. I'll tell you this much. I am not your enemy. Um, he says doing a Jedi I've mind trick. I to use that line. I literally could not imagine a more suspicious person if I tried. Hey now, have mercy. Okay, let's cut the jokes. I'm not falling for whatever this is. How do you know about us? Who are you really? Now what are you doing? Checking our perimeter. Can you keep a secret, Ashley? Maybe. Usually. <laughs> you cannot repeat what I'm about to tell you. The truth is... I'm a special agent. I'm looking into something that happened five years ago. A special agent? You look surprised. I know, I know. Hearing special agents can be quite the shock. Actually, I'm more interested in what happened five years ago. Mm-hmm. That's what got your attention? No, I mean, yes, It that... has something to do with Matthew's dad, doesn't it? Tell me what you know. Please. Ashley, did Matthew tell you what happened five years ago? Huh? Why? What does he have to do with investigating the resort and the lake? That's confidential. Information regarding the investigation is classified. Then I won't tell you anything. I'll conduct my own investigation. Okay, current hypothesis. I would stop if I were you. This guy's an insurance agent. Why? And he thinks Matthew's In dead. In this world, certain truths are better left undiscovered. Faked his own death. Would you pass that message on to Matthew as well? To collect insurance. Me? Tell him for me, Ashley. Also potentially killed his daughter. But, you know, eh, that's neither here nor there. I mean, that's that's freaking awful. <sighs> Don't get me wrong. Special agent, huh? Do note that I'm being entirely facetious when I say that's neither here nor there. Like, if he actually is the cause of Matthew's sister's death, like... That would be super Matthew. messed up. Dog! Oh, it's you! I saw you at the guest house. Can we pet the dog? Ashley! There you are! I saw you talking to the guy in the sunglasses. Is everything okay? Yeah, we just talked. I questioned him a little. Wow, really? Awesome. It's no big deal. What did you find out? He didn't say who he was, but he told me what he's doing here. He's investigating what happened five years ago. Huh? He wouldn't give details said it was top secret. That's so sketchy. What if he's behind it? I'm not sure. He was odd, but it didn't seem like he was up to no good. Hi, puppy. Good to see you. Yes. Now, where did you come from? Yes, we get to pet the dog. Let's try to guess your name. Um, Bonnie? Rusty? Pochi? Pochi. <laughs> that last one's too weird. It's Spot. It's not weird. It's Pochi. Or, well, it's Pochi is a very common dog name in Japan. I think it's like... Huh. That's really a Japanese dog name? Pretty sure it's either Spot or yep. Pooch. My dad told me. You know, just like a... Does your dad know a lot about Japan? Sort of. My mom was Japanese. Oh, cool. But this dog's name definitely isn't Pochi. It's Princess. How do you know that? Though? I saw it on her collar. Okay. Princess. You sure do seem like a princess. Yes. 
Are you a dog or a cat person? Definitely a dog person. I wanted one when I was little, but we lived in an apartment. So I used to play with my neighbor's dog after school instead. Really? Hey, princess. Want to be friends? Princess. Yes. Yes, that's a good dog. That's a good dog. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hey, so how was the clock tower? It was locked. I couldn't get in. Oh. It's a plot point later. Come to think of it, Dan told me something. He said the clock's been stopped for five years now. I guess that means we can't get inside. Oh well. So, where's your dad's cottage? I think it was just past the bridge. First house on the left. Well, let's go. Sure thing. Uh, let's see. So that might... Well, no, if I stop now, I've got like an 18-minute episode, so we'll push on just a little bit longer, but we are kind of getting to roughly where I think we want to uh, be cutting this. Oh yeah, now we've got more information. Yep. <laughs> John. <laughs> Uh, there was definitely something I wanted to elaborate on, and I've already completely forgotten, so maybe editing me is gonna have to do that. Yes. Yeah, I mean, he definitely seems like an investigator of some sort. I just don't know if it's insurance or law. Huh. Okay, now the question is, can I get in here using my guest card, or am I going to have to use the RAS to get in? Uh, gift card is, or guest card is closer to the top. Duly noted. Okay, so we're just going to have to examine this thing and use the RAS on it, probably. It's locked? Dad's place is on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, because he has, like, a key card to get oh, there. this isn't good. And we're just going to have to hacker man it, yep. I knew it. Okay, so let's see, that's, uh... Uh... What does that mean? Oh, two inputs at once! Okay. Oh, dang. I totally called it in session 9.5. I totally said, there are going to be two input nice. puzzles soon, right? Huh? Where'd Princess go? Run off somewhere. I just don't know what that mm. one symbol I failed we'll on see her again. was supposed to be. Maybe it was just, like, up and right simultaneously, you know, just like, uh, I need to push both D-pad directions in, something like that, but it, it definitely threw me for a loop, because I wasn't expecting combo puzzles right that second. And so when I saw the second set that had both X and right simultaneously, or whatever the direction was, <gasps> it was abundantly clear. I can't believe I called that, though, like... Yo, let's freaking go? I'm getting ahead of this game again and it feels good? Okay. Nah, we can still probably eke out just a little more time. Like, there's definitely gonna be a cutscene when we get to Richard's house, probably. Oh boy, there's a, a lot of stuff here. 
I realized that um, on the left, just past the covered bridge. Okay, so the house that I looked at very first was correct. And in fact, it's the house that Ashley was looking at just now here? too, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we'll poke around in here. Huh. And the more I hear, like, the more dialogue they do, I'm kind of feeling like this is on the West Coast, North America. Still haven't narrowed down if it's, it's Canada. Issue after issue. How strange. It looks like unauthorized access from outside the JC Valley system. It can't be. You're sure your dad isn't here? <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Definitely. Don't worry. Oh! I'm dying on the inside. Where's the computer? I'll look for it. Oh no! Ashley! No! Oh. Dad? <laughs> what are you doing here? I wrapped up at the lab. I'm sorry I had to leave the cookout so abruptly. Oh no! You said he wouldn't be here! <laughs> Oh. It's fine. Uh, I'll cover uh, for you. I am dying on his behalf. You left your hat. Oh, there it is. Thanks for bringing it to me. You have a friend with you? Oh, uh, yeah. This is, uh, Mario. Let's go! Yep, Mario. Mario, <laughs> eh? It's okay. Let me get a good look at you. Now, could you be the kid Dan told me about? Mamma mia! <laughs> no, Dad. No way. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't be afraid. You must be Matthew. <sighs> huh? I heard you ran away from home. You must be having a hard time. I was about your age when I ran away for the first time. Will you tell me what's going on, Matthew? Uh, sure. I didn't see this coming. Was that always like this? I'm not immediately going to sell you out. Good parent! So I only have today to figure out what happened to my dad. I see. You've been through a lot. Please don't tell Dan about Matthew. Don't worry. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. Thanks, Dad. Supportive! I hope you find a lead soon. Yeah. Ashley, your dad is different from how I expected. Yeah. I don't think my dad is what you'd call normal. Huh? Not normal? Don't you get it? That was a compliment. It was? You two were actually pretty similar. Are not! <clears throat> well, how was the cookout, Ashley? Awkward. I didn't know anyone. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. But I met someone who knew Mom. He said on the outside I look like Mom, but inside I'm more like you. Is that right? I don't really get what he meant. I don't even know you that well. Is that right? <laughs> oh, before I forget, can you look at this? It belonged to Matthew's dad. Wow, it's been a while since I've seen a floppy disk. My computer's upstairs. There's a floppy drive around there somewhere, if you can find it. Just feel free to look around. Wow, thanks. 
I'll start looking. I remembered something else about Mom. Did you? Yeah. Sometimes the scenery here reminds me of things. You're remembering things? It's possible something happened 13 years ago. Something that stuck deep in her memory. Why did I suddenly remember Mom? Well... Do you know something? I've been thinking. On the night your mom died, she had just returned with you from Lake Juliet. I've analyzed that day over and over. I keep thinking... You're overthinking it, Dad. When it's about Mom, you always do. How can I not? She's always on my mind. Especially since... Since I haven't been able to say goodbye. Dad. Someone's calling. Hello, Gina. What is it? The system is acting up again. Oh? The security system is behaving strangely. What in the... It's just one issue after another. Highly unusual. Okay, I'll be right there. Did something happen? More trouble at the lab. I'm sorry to leave you alone again, but I have to go. All right. Oh, right. There's a restaurant nearby if you get hungry. Feel free to order something. Just say you're my daughter and they'll put it on my tab. Ah, uh, the diner sequence that I've heard so Will much do. about. Okay, I better go. You got this, Dad. Yeah, I guess I do, don't I? He's so busy. We never have time to just talk. I forgot to tell him about the Ras opening the lock. That's information we keep to ourselves for now. So before we get into the outro, uh, in CE 2007, 2007 CE, however you say it, in 2007, I'm guessing that phishing attacks are a lot less known about. So security issues at the lab just suddenly acting up and oh no, we suddenly have access from outside the system. How could that possibly be? I'm guessing somebody just clicked on a bad email, bro. Like, it's 2007, they don't know what they're doing. Phishing uh, awareness is not as big. And so that's that's just kind of the joke that I have for that sequence. But uh, we are basically at an hour in this session. So we're gonna have roughly two 30 minute parts to it. And uh, that's a good place to cut it here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell to be notified. And as always, I'm looking forward to your feedback in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I will catch you on the flip side.